Welcome back. Um, it's been like three months since our last video. Um, a lot has happened since then. Uh, she's been using the hair brella for all this time. So, so we me. bought this basically. We took the video. Um, you took the whole video. Whole video. Then I took a shot underwater. The water went into my phone. Oh. Lost the whole footage. The, the footage phone. Gone. The phone. The phone is gone. So now I got one of these, and that way we can actually make it happen today. This is the hair umbrella. Right. Uh, satin lined. Yes, satin lined. And it is hair supposedly a waterproof. Um, what you call it? Swim cap. Swim cap. Here in the back. I really like it because of the inside. Keeps my hair like like it won't be like frizzy, and mm. also it's really easy to put on, and it's comfortable too. It's really comfortable. It's not like the other swim caps where like it's super tight on your head. Mm. This one is like you have some space in there for your curls mm. or braids or whatever you have. The hair it has some sometimes. The oh, water gets inside, so like you have to make sure it gets dry, or else, like, when, whenever you're gonna use it, it's gonna be wet if you don't let it dry, obviously. But <laughs> yeah, so okay, so we're gonna try this like airs out thing. Um, I don't think this makes a lot of sense, um, but we'll uh, we'll try it now. This hair is gonna get wet because it's like not inside of it, and when hair gets wet, it might pull in. So that where we have this the swim cover from head covers, but um, we're gonna do just the hair umbrella. People are asking about certain types of strokes and whatnot. Um, we'll start with like a regular uh, freestyle swim daring back. Let's see how that goes. Two. One. Okay, so there she off. I'm gonna fast forward to her coming back. Very nice form. Very nice. Very nice. And so she's gonna do a, the turn underwater. There she goes. I don't like how my ears feel outside of the cab. They feel really uncomfortable. And I don't like it. So, and I don't like it. So. Oh, look at that, y'all. Turn around. It's dry. It's dry, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the, at the end. What about up here? This is dry. That's dry. This is all dry. But maybe like right here at the end. No, that's dry too. Maybe it's just in the side where it was like a little open. But yeah, this is dry. Yeah. That was like five minutes of swimming. But that was you going under the water three times or four times. Yeah. So this is what it looks like after a few minutes of swimming. Little bit it's of got water like a dampness. Yeah. Water inside. On the edges here. Yeah, I see around that rim. So her hair is mostly dry. It is um, like it just 95%. Oh yeah, I would say because this is dry on this side, which is weird. All of this is dry, but on this side on the right, there's a little bit of oh no, it's mostly dry. Yeah. There's only a little piece. This piece like, is a little wet. So, it's kind of like a back Switch directions because we don't want to get random people in the film. Oh, she a swimmer, swimmer. Right here. Now she's 
doing a back float. Uh, and you can see it is under the water halfway to the airline. Then, can you do a front float for like a second? That's a dive in. Impressive. Alright, so now we're gonna look at um, her hair. Uh, she's done all the tests. We've swam backwards, we've swam forward, under, you name it. We've done all the stuff. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all again, and this will be uh, what we'll uh, work off here. Take it off. Oh, let's see the inside. Oh, oh that's the hair conditioner. All right, uh, let me see, turn around. Okay, actually it's not as bad as you think. Um, right here, the roots on the top of the head, this is all dry. This is dry, this is dry. She still has her curls. Um, unlike, you know, if this hair was soaking wet, it would be all the way. Yeah. Um, it's wet to about right here. To about right here, it's wet. Um, everything up is dry. And I think that has a lot to do with how we put it on today, though. Because other times, it hasn't been this wet. Um, but here you have it. I guess it's on a practical use. There is some wetness, but it's... More sporty type use. Yeah. It's, it's, if you use it like for regular swimming, you it won't be this wet. No, like, you're just like, you're going to the pool with the kids. Oh, yeah. Put it on your hair, it's 99% guaranteed it won't be wet. 99% oh. guaranteed it won't be wet. Because we were working the pool. Mm. So I don't know. Okay, first test is done. I'm gonna do this thing. Um, swim cover. I just cut out for the air. Looking like Mega Mind. <laughs> Alright, so huh? I'm gonna do it there and back. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna do a there. And then a back float over there. Okay. Ready? That's keeping me afloat, so I guess it's kind of like a floaty at the same time. <laughs> Two so, in one. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go underwater and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Alright, here we go.
swam all that and her hair is almost dry it just got barely wet like that, that's good that's good if you look at both of our hairs we're about to leave the pool like if we didn't even come here so i would say that this is a win this is a win for us look at that my hair is basically dry so that's our final review um i'd say get it don't get it it's definitely worth the purchase yes. if you do not want to deal with having to wash your hair every time you come to the pool and dealing with the, the cheap um, swim caps the plastic yeah. one and they, those break easily too this seems like really durable too mm. so it's definitely worth the price yeah very durable because even when I spread it on my head it didn't break yeah I feel like it would be really hard to like intentionally try to break it yeah mm. the door thank you for watching and if you like this video go ahead and check out our first one yes it's really good it's like the same thing but very it's it's entertaining right yeah yes yeah so click on it and watch the first video if you want more to know more about it all right <laughs>